My name is Michael Echave. I'm an AEC technical specialist here at ATG USA. Today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks on Bluebeam Review. Today's tip and trick is going to be covering starting a new studio session. In order to start a new session, we have to access studio. In order to access studio, you're going to see it on the panel access bar. It is the panel icon that looks like a studio. If you do not see the studio icon, you can right click on your panel access and go show and go to studio. Once you click on your studio and it populates as the panel does, you can go in and sign into your Bluebeam ID. If you do not currently have a Bluebeam ID, you need to create one. In order to create one, you're going to go to sign in. And from there, you can go and go to create account. I currently already have an account, so I'm going to sign in now. And once I've signed in, I have two different icons in my studio. So in studio, you have studio projects and studio sessions. Studio sessions looks like a rollable whiteboard. In order to start a new session, you have to go to the sessions icon. And once you're in the sessions icon, you can see the sessions that you've been invited to or ones you've joined or ones you've created as well. Or you can also go in and filter out and see which ones you want to show. Or you can go to the plus icon here and you can select a new session or join. We're going to create a new session. And from here, you have the populated window of starting a new session. I'm going to name it Tips and Tricks. From here, you can add any documents you want to add to it. Again, the only thing that can be added in a studio session is 2D PDFs or 3D PDFs. Below that, you have options where you can set some certain options in terms of permissions and what attendees have access to. Below that, you have restrict attendees by email. When this is selected, that means any attendee that is not listed in the email address area, they will not be able to attend your session. This is great if you do not want any unwanted guests attending your session by ID, but also hinders them from joining just by the ID itself. So be aware of that. Below that, you're allowed to set in session expiration date. What this means is that your session is going to expire by a certain date and time. This is great for setting milestone deadlines, meaning that attendees will be kicked out of the session and will not be allowed to join back in. But you as the admin can reinvite them and set a new expiration or no expiration if that's what you want. I'm gonna hit okay. And once you hit okay, it's going to create your session. Over on the left, it's gonna create a lovely little updated area of what a session actually entails. Your session invitation box is going to populate, showing you the session name, the ID. You can copy this invitation and send it out, or you have this invitees area right below. You can hit the add symbol here and invite attendees by email. Or if you have an email address set up, like I do, I have Outlook, I can select this address book and it's gonna populate my current address books that I have linked to Outlook. From here, I can select from my list of attendees that I want to attend this session. I'm currently not going to. You can also send an optional message if you wanted to as well. Thank you for joining my tips and tricks today on starting a new studio session.